Welcome to Hadoop and Amazon Web Services. This first section is a short overview, and it begins with the obligatory, who's this disembodied voice you're hearing during the course? Well, I'm Ken Krugler. I've been using Hadoop for many years, since uh, around 2006. I'm active in the Apache Tika project, and I use Hadoop almost every day to create solutions for our customers. These solutions typically involve things like large-scale web crawling, machine learning, uh, often the outcome of this extract, transform, and load workflow is a solar index. And for the past two and a half years, I've almost exclusively been using Amazon Web Services, both EC2 and Elastic MapReduce, to create these Hadoop solutions. This course assumes that you already know Hadoop. This is not an intro to Hadoop course. What it assumes is that you want to learn how to use Amazon's Elastic MapReduce to solve Hadoop problems. So over the next 10 modules, we're going to take you from you know nothing about it to you can actually use it to solve your Hadoop problems. We're going to cover how to get started, which means getting an account, getting everything configured so you can actually run jobs, how you decide what kinds of servers and how, you, how big your cluster needs to be. We'll have a hands-on lab, which involves processing Wikipedia data. Then we're going to get into more advanced topics. How do you use the command line tools instead of the browser interface? How do you debug your workflows inside of Elastic MapReduce? And then we're going to cover some Hive and Pig, including a Hive Lab. And finally, we'll get into advanced topics, things like how do you use spot pricing to reduce your cost? How can you dynamically change the size of your cluster? Now, there's a fundamental question of why do you want to use Elastic MapReduce? Why are you even listening to this course? Well, there's three key reasons. The first has to do with cost. Now, if you have your own cluster, like we did at my Krugel startup, here's what happens. You set up the cluster, which means you buy the hardware, you rack it, you network it, you configure it, you know, you have an ops person who's busy doing all those things, and then you typically don't use it all the time during development. Like, for example, at Krugel, we use their cluster maybe 20% of the time, which means the effective cost was almost 5x. Now, with Elastic MapReduce, you're only paying for what you actually need when you need it. And you're not paying an ops team to maintain a cluster. Now, the second key point is you have a lot more agility. For example, if you suddenly decide, I need a cluster of 100 servers, and they need to be this kind of server, you don't have to buy those servers or rack them or do all that other stuff. You can just, from the command line or from the AWS browser interface, say, I want a cluster that's this big. And in a couple minutes, you have it. And finally, you get to focus on the actual Hadoop workflow. You're not spending your time worrying about which version of Hadoop and how to upgrade Hadoop and what happens when one of your clusters is having a problem with Hadoop. And Amazon has a very specific version of Hadoop that's been optimized for Amazon's infrastructure. So you get maximum performance and it reduces the number of issues that you'll run into.